Okay, guys, you asked for it. Here it is, the world number one, Rory McIlroy. And we're going to do a quick little swing analysis of his driver swing. One of the most accurate and longest hitters on tour. Let's see what we got here. So let's draw a little quick little plane line here. He's got a good plane right through his midsection. As he brings the club back, it just it's just taken back on absolutely perfect line. Look at that, just right up the line there. Um, one thing I do want you to notice about his setup. You can see here his feet are actually pointed right of where his driver is pointed. He's, he's pointed over here. And that is because he is playing a draw. He likes to aim a little bit right of target, club face pretty square, and then he swings inside to out, and he likes to hit that high bombing draw. So, again, as he brings it back, just on perfect line, one thing he does is he has a very long backswing. He's, he's pushing that club head of that driver back towards the camera to get as much length as he can on that backswing. You can see he's bending that front leg quite a bit, but his foot never really comes off the ground. You know, Bubba Watson and some other guys, that front foot will come off the ground and just be on your toe. Uh, Jack, Jack Nicholas used to do that quite a bit, but his, his feet stay firmly on the ground. He just bends that knee. So as he gets to the top, Club face is in perfect position. Left arm stays completely straight. Club face is almost identical as far as... This is a hard little app. There we go. As far as being lined up with his wrist there on his left hand. Just absolute perfect position. Huge shoulder turn. That's where he gets a lot of his power. And then one of his first moves on his downswing, you can see right about here... He starts to squat as he starts his downswing. So both legs are bent pretty considerably. You can see he's already starting to keep his head back behind the golf ball. Those hands are coming right down the line perfectly. And then as you see, right, actually, actually right about here, he's already at this point straightening that front leg to use the ground to push up off the ground to hit up on this golf ball and get reduce some spin and get as much power and as much distance as possible. So you can see it, as he's coming down, he squats. Slight squat starts there. And then as he comes down, right about there, he's already standing up and straightening those legs to try and push off. You can see that right foot is coming off the ground as he's pushing up, as he makes contact with the golf ball. His right elbow and arm is pretty bent until right after impact. You can see he's rolling those hands over through impact to close that club face and hit a nice high draw. One thing I did want to show you real quick is as he comes through, just absolutely the most balanced golf swing on tour just comes through so much power yet so much balance he spends a lot of time in the gym working on his core strength working on his back working on his balance in particular just a crazy good athlete now let's take a look from the front view here the front view here you can see he has a fairly wide stance um, he's got Perfect little V here with his arms. You can also see ball position here right off his left heel. Perfect position. Uh, he does flare his feet out just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. One other thing I want you to notice we're here at setup. He's already got his shoulder angle up. That way it'll help him swing up on the golf ball. Head is already, again, behind the golf ball. He's going to keep it there the entire time. So as you can see, I've drawn some lines here on his legs just to show you in his backswing. He really doesn't have any sway at all. He's got a little bit, you can just see right at the beginning, that right hip breaks through the plane, but then he rotates right around that right leg. And then as he's coming through, he does bust through this front plane, but you're absolutely supposed to do that. Get on top of the golf ball. 
One thing I want you to notice here is as he's taking this club back, look how low to the ground he keeps it and how long. I mean, look at that. It's barely, it's probably a quarter of an inch off the ground and it's a foot and a half away from the golf ball. He's, he gets as much length as he can out of this backswing. You can see here, left arm, again, just extremely straight the entire time, pushing that driver head back towards the back side over here, the back of the tee box. So as we continue here, you can see, again, rotating right around that right leg. Starts to sway just a little bit backwards. You can see he's got a little bit of a gap here, but most of that is going to be coming from his uh, front leg is actually bending a little bit. So it's going to look like he's swaying backwards, but you can see on that back leg plane that he did not come through. Again, as he gets to the top, look at that left arm. It is just completely straight. Shoulder turn is incredible. He's, he's like back over here. Gets his huge shoulder turn, but you can see he hasn't even finished his backswing. He's already starting the process of his downswing. You can see his hips here. Watch his hips. I'm going to move that circle just so you can see. Watch his hips. as And the club is still going backwards. And his hips have already started towards the target. So into his downswing here, you can see he's shifting those hips considerably towards the target. His The club hasn't even really gone too far. And his front hip is already through that plane. He's already pushing off that back foot. Back heel is already off the ground, way back here, okay? I'll take all these lines off. As he's coming down, that left arm is extremely straight, stays straight like almost the entire golf swing. Head considerably behind the golf ball. Ton of lag, look at the angle here of the club relative to his arms here. That's incredible lag. Now, as he gets into the impact position, his head is staying way behind the golf ball again. At this point, he bottoms out the club right about here. This is the bottom of his swing, and then he's swinging up on the golf ball as he makes impact. Club is right in line with that leg, right in line with his arms. Back of his gloved hand here is pointed towards the target. Both legs are basically straightened out. He's using that ground to push up that away. As he swings up on this golf ball, he's reducing the backspin, which will make the ball fly considerably farther. That's how he gets so much distance. And then just incredible balance, incredible shoulder turn on the follow through. Just like I said, an incredible athlete. One of the best swings. If you want to mimic a swing, this is a swing you need to watch and try and mimic because it's incredible.